Welcome to Snow Place, a virtual reality game, um, an experiment created over Christmas break in 2015. And we start surrounded by snow eagles with their sharp carrot beaks. Um, we're also starting intersecting with the ground right now, so we're going to move up. So now we're on our sled. Uh, so this is right now running in a browser, but it was created for virtual reality for a spatially tracked headset like the Vive, which those dev kits had just come out. Ooh, and we're going to collect presents. Um, so this game in theory is about going around collecting presents on your sled, and if we look you'll see that yellow present is now on the back of our sled. Um, but what it was really created for is to experiment with uh, various collision and movement design in virtual reality. So, because spatially tracked virtual reality, let's get that present, uh, was a new thing in 2015, we finally had access to the Vive dev kits and could do room scale VR. And one question is, if your real, if your, uh, if your virtual world is larger than a room, how do you get around inside of it? And teleportation is popular these days, but we wanted to try out other things because we're a research group. So we wanted to test out this sled motion where you sit on the floor and when you sit it on the sled you activate the sled and then by leaning around your body you move the sled and it's just the further you lean from the center of the sled the more you're scaling the speed of your motion. And there's other concerns like what do you do with collision when you're in a virtual space that has objects but your real space doesn't. You're in an empty room with a flat floor. So to make sure the floor is flat by the time you get to it, we plow through the curving snowy landscape as we go. And that was one thing we wanted to test. And then there's objects. What happens if you try and crash into a tree? Where in a traditional flat video game, you can just make the character stop moving. You can do all sorts of things. But in virtual reality, if you want to stick your head in a tree, uh, there's there's no way to stop you in the real world. You're in an actual physical empty room. So we decided to anthropomorphize these trees and make them just jump out of your way, kind of inspired by uh, the night bus in Harry Potter. And it ended up being surprisingly fun to chase after these poor trees that are just trying to get out of your way. And uh, in virtual reality, where it's much easier to control the sled movement and much more intuitive, it's, it's just unreasonably entertaining to plow through the snow and chase after the trees. And you can see we've been collecting more presents, which are on the back of our sled. The snow eagles try out another kind of collision. They don't move out of your way, but they do melt. So as you get closer, their height scales until by the time you get to them, you, you've, um, they're melted and you just run right over them. And then as you move away, they pop, they pop right back. And that's just because it was a simple bit of math to scale their height according to your distance past a certain threshold. And then finally, um, ooh, we have to get closer to our sled to activate it again. Look at all those presents. We're doing good. Uh, there are these Christmas trees, which are, um, the branches are just a bunch of tetrahedra that are scaled and swirled around according to uh, the golden ratio to get a nice plant-like swirl with some spheres at the end. The star on top is a stellar octangular made out of two intersecting tetrahedra. And they just kind of scoot out of your way. You just push them, which isn't as fun as the um, kind of anthropomorphic hopping trees. But it does keep you from plowing through them. And beyond that, the snow on the ground is just a bunch of sine waves. The clouds in the sky are a bunch of sine waves. We have a simple particle. Um, simple snow particles, and we can see that to make the snow get plowed, uh, it actually, I'm going to plow into the ground ourselves, we can see that it's just, um, it's just putting the vertices really low down into the ground. If I can get back onto the sled. Where is my sled? In VR, you can't lose a sled because it's always in the center of your room, but it's not hard to lose the sled when you're uh, when you're trying to do it in a browser. So yeah, we can see ourselves 
plowing through underneath the ground. Okay, and that is Snow Place.